Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I would like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be getting ready with you guys to attend a wedding. It is currently 31 degrees Celsius. It rained yesterday, so today is hot and humid. I wanna do a full glam look and I want my makeup to last long. I have oily combination skin, so I pulled out all my really good products. I also want my makeup to be matte and glowy. We're gonna figure it out together. We're gonna do it together. So you guys are gonna see what I'm going to do. This video is also sponsored by GTP. Thank you to GTP for sponsoring this video. I'm really, really excited to show you guys what I'm putting together for this wedding. I put up a short video, which I'm gonna be linking above here to ask you guys to suggest what you think my outfit should look like. I showed you guys the fabric and you guys chose and we have had a winner so I can't wait for you guys to see what the outfit is going to be I'm also gonna show you guys my fragrance and obviously I'm doing my makeup right now so yeah if you want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's get right into it I've done my skincare I have my sunscreen on we're gonna get into it today is a hot and humid day I am going to make sure that my makeup looks good enough and it lasts long I'm going to do my eyebrows first you guys know the drill I like to use my got to be gel in the black tube it works like a brow gel and some of you were saying there's a got to be brow gel but I already have this when I finish using it I'll definitely try out the got to be brow gel and i'll let you guys know how it works as you can see my eyebrow hairs are like up and this one is all over the place so i'm gonna do same here I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer in the shade Tan Sand Deep. I'm going to put it under my brow. I want my brow to be highlighted, like really highlighted. So like I said, we are doing full glam and I want my makeup to last long. This concealer doesn't budge at all. I'm going to buff it in. It looks really good. So I'm gonna do same to this side. I'm gonna just pop that on here and I'm gonna sculpt it out with my flat brush. So what I'm gonna do now is to go ahead and push a little bit of powder into my brows. I'm using my Huda Beauty powder. I'm not gonna open it yet. I'm just using what's at the top. And I'm using my Real Techniques setting brush. you are gonna have your brows looking like this. So I'm gonna go in and lightly fill my eyebrows. I'm using the Nuban Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. You guys don't see me using this primer a lot um this is the elf party primer and the elf power grip primer these two together the bomb.com and they are both affordable so what i do is i apply this all over my face and then i go ahead and blend it into my skin It's gonna have your makeup gripping onto your skin, which is what we want for hot days. And we're gonna go into the e.l.f. Party Primer. This is what it looks like. We don't go in with a lot, just a little bit, literally. I'm going to apply that at the center of my face where I get really oily and my pores are like gaping holes. I'm literally going to apply this over there. Pat it into the skin, just like so. It literally makes your pores vanish. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. This is what we are looking like. I'm gonna do my eyes first because 
we're gonna just leave the face as is and we're gonna come back and do the base a little bit later so i'm gonna start off with my eyes i'm gonna prime them with a little bit of concealer as you can see the brush just gives you like mad coverage i don't need this much coverage on my eyelids so i'm gonna use a sponge and i'm just going to buff this in like this as you can see the sponge has literally giving me a much softer coverage which is what i tell you guys using brushes and sponges combining the two as you can see just a very soft coverage so i'm gonna go ahead and do same here looks really good i'm gonna go back in with my huda powder and my setting brush from real techniques i'm gonna push powder into my eyelid to make sure that the concealer doesn't crease on me it's very normal to have creasing in your makeup guys like we have fine lines and products will settle in them so please don't feel insecure if your makeup creases you know like areas like on your eyelids under your eyes your smile lines it's completely normal to crease so i'm bringing you guys close so that i can do my eye makeup with you guys i saw a makeup look on tiktok that i want to create it's like a trendy thing now okay um i think you guys can see it now i'm gonna try to recreate it this is like soft glam but i want something a little more intense i'm gonna go in with my nyx slide on extra me in the shade jet black and what i'm gonna do is to go into my lash line this doesn't have to be perfect i'm literally just putting it on at the outer portion of my lash line just like so and i'm gonna do same here I just focus the products on the outer lash line i haven't used this eyeshadow palette in so long if you're an og on this channel before we hit 10k before we hit 6k this was my baby girl i really love this palette it's a morphe eyeshadow palette and it was one of the i don't want to get emotional i'm not even gonna get into it did you hear the goats? Can you hear the goats? It's so aggressive. But we're gonna ignore her. I'm gonna go into this eyeshadow color. It's a matte black color. This eyeshadow palette is so pigmented. It's so good. I don't know why I haven't used it in so long. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that onto the black we applied earlier onto the lash line. And then I'm gonna do the same to this one. Just to make sure that it is nice and set okay so i think we're good with that and then i'm gonna go into this color it's like a dark brown and i'm gonna use that to bring this out i'm also gonna bring it into my inner corner just a little bit and i'm gonna use that to connect to the black the reason why i didn't bring the black all the way in is because i don't want it to be too harsh but yeah you guys can see what i'm trying to do it really doesn't have to be perfect just try your best <laughs> and do what you can so you're gonna have something like this i really like how it's turning out we're going to do same to this eye We're gonna go into the transition shade don't mind if these are not equal we're gonna fix it later i'm gonna go into these two shades i'm just going to pop that in my crease just to give me a little bit of definition so you're gonna have it looking something like this and you're gonna go into the brown shade and i'm going to just put that at the outer v and just bring it in like so so there's a little bit more definition out here i'm gonna start off patting it here and then just into the crease you honestly don't have to go this hard on eyeshadow looks but i'm, I'm just in the mood i just want to try something new i'm gonna find me a flat brush and i'm gonna go in with a really light brown i think i want to do this one yeah i want to do that let me try putting it on my lid and see yeah this is the color that i want 
let me try using my face powder this is actually pretty using the face powder is so much better and less ashy yeah i'm using my fenty powder foundation i'm just gonna put that all over my lid just like so and i'm gonna just blend this out so i'm gonna do same here What I'm gonna do is to go in with my dark brown and I'm just going to keep adding that here at the outer V. I feel like I should do this but I'm scared that I'm gonna mess up. But let me try. I'm gonna find me a dense thick brush. Okay, this a brush like please focus for the love of God. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the very dark brown that I use and I'm gonna place that right here okay and then i'm gonna go back in with my brush and just blend it out. okay it doesn't look so bad actually it looks pretty good i don't know if you guys can tell the difference <laughs> let me look at the eye look one last time okay i think i'm gonna go in with the lighter brown and let's see if i can just bring this up yes i love it when i put on the eyelashes you guys are gonna see how it's going to turn out for my lashes i'm gonna use these eyelashes they are from jlux beauty co on instagram i bought these a really long time ago i don't know if they still have them in stock these are cut eye eyelashes and it's called classy in case you are interested you can just reach out to them and then find out if they still have them in stock um, as you can see my base is looking pretty good but before I go ahead and apply my foundation I'm gonna do a little bit of powder before foundation so I'm gonna take my puff and my Huda Beauty powder and I'm gonna push that at the center of my face this is for full coverage days if i'm doing full coverage full glam i'm going into the sun i don't want my makeup to melt off this is what i do i'm gonna zoom you guys out in a sec okay let's get into the base i think i want to do a pop of color with my makeup but let's see how that goes i'm gonna do foundation but i want to do color correcting first because i want to look so good i want to look really 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 good so yeah we're gonna do a little bit of color correcting i'm using my mac studio fix conceal and correct palette this palette right here yeah i'm gonna go into this orange shade it doesn't look orange on camera but i promise you it is definitely orange <laughs> uh, maybe it will look orange on my skin but yeah uh, as you can see it looks very orange so i'm gonna apply that onto the areas that are dark and gray which is my mustache area i'm also gonna put a little bit on my chin area you know essentially around my mouth that is And then a little bit under my eye area. Some days I wouldn't even bother doing all this. But today I'm in the mood. I'm just gonna lightly set this area down. If you have a full coverage foundation, you don't need to color correct. Like you can just skip it. I'm extra, I'm feeling extra today. I don't know why <laughs> for foundation i'm gonna use my trusted and true too faced born this way matte foundation i reviewed this foundation and i really really love it i've never stopped using it it's just a really nice foundation so 
I'm gonna just apply two pumps on this side of my face and I'm gonna just spread it out with my fingers just like so looks pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my foundation brush this foundation brush blends out foundation so fast like it's big and it just blends out foundation. if you have a small face or you are like you have on um, a wig and you don't want to put products on your wig or your hair and you're not using a scarf like me you can just avoid this brush because it will get everywhere but if you want to blend your foundation fast this is your girl um let me see what's the name this is the insta pop face brush works really well so you can see everything is nicely blended out on my skin i'm gonna go in with a sponge to do some extra blending I think I want to clean the top part of my brows. Where is my flat brush? So I'm going to use my foundation, pop it at the back of my hand, use my flat brush, and I'm going to clean out the top part of my brows. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan. So I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna use this. And here. So I'm gonna mix the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch and Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I'm in the shade Chestnut, by the way, like the Born This Way foundation. That's my foundation shade. So yeah, I'm gonna just mix it up. I don't know, I'm feeling very extra today and this video is gonna be long. I apologize in advance. But I wanna keep the brightness just, you know, under my eyes and the maybe bridge of my nose. So I'm gonna let the concealer sit while I go ahead and apply my cream contour. For cream contour, I'm using this um, stick foundation from Juvia's Place. It's in the shade Sokoto. I'm gonna apply that here, forehead and temples, and then I'm gonna apply some in here. I'm gonna let that sit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my cream contour with my Insta Pop Cheek Brush from Mew Techniques. And I'm gonna bring what's on my forehead into my hairline, just like so. And what's left on the brush, I'm gonna bring it down to my jawline, just to keep it looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer. I'm using this brush. This brush is from Colorbox Cosmetics. It's called CB15 Pro Brush. It has two sides. I'm gonna start off with my chin. looks crazy i'm gonna go ahead and blend out what's under my eyes with the other end looks so freaky crazy i know so i'm going into my sponge And then I'm gonna go into my foundation brush to diffuse the edges of the concealer so it doesn't look so harsh. <laughs> I don't know, it's such a pet peeve for me when I see this line of demarcation. I 
I love how my makeup is turning out. It looks so freaking good. So now I'm just going back in with my contour brush just to do some extra blending. And I'm gonna let this sit while I apply my cream blush. I'm extra. This is the Liss Matte Cream Blush in the shade Confidence. It's like a pink mauve type of blush and I just really like how it looks. So I'm gonna apply that. Okay, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. blush brush. So, oh, oh, this is too much product. Too much product. Too much product. But we're gonna apply that. I'm gonna apply that in between my highlight and contour. And I'm gonna bring it upwards. Just like so. I'm smiling because I want to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, I look so weird. But look at how pretty it looks. And then I'm going to go in with my brush to blend out my nose contour. I didn't forget about it, guys. I just like to do that last. I'm just going to bring it down the sides of the bridge of my nose. looks so good i'm gonna go in with my sponge i'm going to make sure that the creases are ironed because i'm about to set my under eye area making sure to pick up any excesses and i will go back in with the brush i'm gonna use a puff and my huda powder in the shade banana bread i'm gonna go in and push it under the eyes I'm going to go ahead and set the center of my nose as well. Bring it up to my... I'm going to push powder here. I make some of the ugliest faces when I'm doing my makeup. My God. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm also going to push some here and in my small lines as well. It looks so good. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty powder. I like mixing these two. This is the shade 390 and the shade 370. 390 makes me look too dark and 370 makes me look too ashy. So I like to mix the two. I'm gonna use my Colorbox CB4 powder brush. I'm just going to go all over my face. I mean, the rest of my face that I haven't set with powder, like this side of my face i also like to go over here and then my forehead area just very lightly i'm gonna go ahead and apply my bronzer i'm using the charlotte tilbury bronzer this is the airbrush bronzer i'm gonna use my color box cb5 brush and i'm gonna apply that my hairline and my jawline and chin area being so generous i'm also gonna go into my nose contour just gonna intensify that start from under my brows and then bring it down the sides Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a clean up just at the sides of the bridge of my nose and just the center and what I'm gonna do is to use my brush and then I'm gonna just clean up the excesses I'm also gonna bake a little bit under my eyes and then my small lines I'm gonna go in with a yellow powder. This is the Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm being extra today, so please don't be in the comments saying, oh my God, too many products. I'm using them because if I don't use them, they're gonna expire and I have to use them because I have a problem. I have a problem, I buy too many products, so I'm stopping and I'm gonna be using all my products from now. This is a really yellow powder. I'm just gonna use that to do a little bit of reverse contouring.
I'm gonna use my powder brush to just clean up so it doesn't like leave a huge stain over there. What I'm gonna do now is to apply my blush, but I'm going to finish up my eye makeup. I said I wanted to do like a pop of color thing, so I don't know what I'm going to do now. But I know that I am trying to. Whoops, everything is just. Ah! my god everything is falling so i'm gonna just tight line i'm tight lining with a dark brown pencil okay the angle might be slightly different because i just had to switch out my battery i am going to do like a pop of color i have green in my outfits and the green is like a really dark green i feel like this green would work so well this green right here this is the juvia's place culture eyeshadow palette and i feel like it's gonna be perfect to do a pop of color so yeah i'm gonna just dip my flat brush in here and i'm gonna see how it applies yep definitely a lot of pigment so we are going to stick to this color. I love how the green is applying. I think this looks really good for the most part. So I'm going to do the same here. So Juvia's Place sends me these liquid eyeshadows. And I'm thinking, I want to put one into my inner corners. This would give me the green color that I'm looking for. I've been loving the mixture of these two blushes, the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow and then my Red Vinyl from Milani Cosmetics. So I'm going to apply the Rosy Glow. And before I apply the Milani, I'm going to go in with a very light powder under my eyes. I'm going to blend this in before I do anything. This is a foundation powder, the one sized foundation powder. I'm gonna go in. And then I'm just going to blend this in just like so. Aha, this is what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on top of my blush with my Milani blush. This is giving like a darker pink. Makeup is definitely giving. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray because I use powders, like a lot of powders. So I wanna melt, melt that into my skin. so good so freaking good get into it so for highlighter i'm gonna use the laura mercier translucent loose light catcher in the shade honey star um i think i've gone a little bit too okay is this okay <laughs> i hope it's okay it's just like a shimmery loose highlighter sort of and i'm gonna be using that to highlight you need just a little bit of this otherwise you're gonna look crazy as you can see like it's so pigmented i'm gonna put some here as well I'm also gonna put some on top of my glowy blush. Looks so freaking good. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my dark brown lip liner from J Lux Beauty.
So I'm gonna go ahead and soften it with my Stana Lip Paint in the shade Unveil from Fenty. This is gonna help it to blend my nude lip in. This is my Alma Beauty uh, Bullet Lipstick in the shade Ether. It's a cool toned nude. I don't know if you guys can tell. So I'm gonna put that at the center, like here. It's matte and it's so pretty. I initially wanted to do a pink lip, but I felt like the eyes are doing too much in my opinion because I'm wearing the dark green and I felt like the eye should go with the make with the dress with the dress and there's a little bit of pink in the dress as well so I wanted to do like a pink lip I felt like I'll be doing too much I'm gonna go over my lip the matte is actually really nice but I want to do a glossy lip I want to go in with the butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie I feel like this would match the aesthetic better so yeah this looks so much better so now the last step before i go ahead and put on my clothes and show you guys my fragrance stuff i'm gonna do this one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray this setting spray right here you guys know the drill so it smells terrible and yeah let's do this This is gonna secure my base and make everything stay put. I'm also gonna go, if you watch my previous video, I showed you guys what I like to do, like the stuff I like to keep in my bag to make sure that my makeup is looking good and to touch up whenever I need to. So I'm gonna take those stuff along with me. I love the makeup. I love it so much. It looks so freaking good. So let me put on my outfits and I'll show you guys everything put together. This portion of today's video is sponsored by GTP. This lovely fabric was given to your girl by GTP. It's such pretty fabric. This is style A and this is what style A looks like on me. And my scarf is from the fabric as well. I just tied a little piece on my head. I put my hair in a cup in a low bun and I put this on. I have heels on at this point in time. I am going to be using my fragrance from Chanel, the Coco Mademoiselle. This is what I'm going to be wearing. I'm pairing my outfits with gold accessories. I have my gold necklace, gold hoops, and gold bracelets. I also have a gold anklet, but you guys will definitely not even see it because I can't lift my legs in this outfit. And I'm going to be putting the scarf on and I'm going to put my bag on this i think this looks really good tell me what you think down below i really love this outfit i think it looks very good oh i feel so good i feel like i look so freaking good thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you want details on this fabric if you're interested in purchasing it kindly look in the description box every detail you'd need on this fabric will be there thank you so much to gtp for sponsoring this video i'll see you guys in my next one take care guys bye